hi guys and welcome back to my channel to my returning subscribers you know i don't joke with you and i love you so much from the very depth of my heart and if today is your first time of coming to this channel clicking this video at all i say you are very welcome and i appreciate you please don't go without subscribing to this channel or giving this video a thumbs up you even need to share it to your friends and loved ones so that they can learn one or two lessons from this particular video thank you all for joining so um, guys this video is not uh, one that i'm happy to make at all um, because of the recent sad incidents that happened to davido and Shoma about them losing their son may god rest his soul uh, when the ugly incident happened on the very first day it happened i wasn't even online so i didn't even know what was going on so it was the next morning i just saw a, um, a youtube video just flashed and i was like ah, what kind of news is this and and i saw another one that said oh the dad has come out to debunk it and i'm like ah, why would somebody just sit in one corner and just think of something horrible like that so a child and then post it so when I saw that one that debunked, I was like, what's going on? So I went to the streets of Twitter and that was where I met the shock. And it was a lot to take in. Honestly, it was a lot to take in. And with the way people have been reacting and all that, it just, it's just so uh, unthinkable to even think about how the parents are going to be feeling right now. If we, the online aunties and uncles, online parents can be feeling this uh, horrible this much, can be feeling horrible this much, how much more Davido and Choma? How, I'm just, I can't stop imagining or thinking what kind of state they have presently. Like, it's just a lot, honestly, it's just a lot. Um, we can only pray for them that God would give them the fortitude to bear this irreparable loss, honestly, because I don't know what kind of words of encouragement that people can really tell them now, presently now, that can really console them. It's the Holy Spirit that can do that by himself. So we just keep on praying for them that God should please console them. Um, it is well. Uh, but in all these, I just want people to learn one or two things from this whole thing. It's not a good event. It's not um, a palatable one. But even at that, it has happened. It has happened. So um, we can only learn. All of us can learn from heat. We can learn from heat and... Um, you know, so that such things will not repeat itself. And sadly, because it had happened to the band a few years ago. Um, it's, anyway, let's just move on into this video. But before we even move on to learn one or two things from this ugly incident, I want to say this. People should try and learn how to empathize. Oh my days. Uh, I've seen a lot on on social media these past few days like see it took me a lot you know a lot of postponing a lot of unwillingness I wasn't I wasn't willing to do this video because I was just thinking what what exactly am I going to say you know the news is just too much online and all that and i was just considering the parents in the event that they'll come back to their try to come back to their normal life obviously they will come back to social media how are they going to be feeling when they see the picture of their child all over imagine them holding their phone to check something online and then the news pops up again, you know, it's just a lot. So what I would like to say first and foremost is that people should learn to empathize genuinely. Like this past few days, I've seen a lot of 
a lot of rubbishes that people posted online. Oh my God. Pointing fingers at the parents. Fine, I know, I know people are deeply hurt. I know some people um, are saying all sorts of things that are, um, that are not supposed to be heard out of their anger, out of their hurt and all that. But minority, in fact, some people were kind of gloating over this and a lot of a lot of a lot of comments online that when you finish reading you'll be like is this a human being that typed this in this kind of situation you know people pointing fingers at uh, david especially oh they should hold him well he knows something about it he used the boy as a sacrifice blah 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 you know things that even if that's what it's in your mind should you say such a horrible thing out Come on, for crying out loud, somebody just lost their son, their only son, their child, a baby, an innocent boy. And all you could think of is, oh, he used the boy as a sacrifice. He used him to renew his, um, his uh, whatever, for his fame and all that. Come on, guys. Let's be human. It's not nice. It's really not nice. And some other people blaming Choma. Why would she leave the boy at home? Why is she following Davido around? Why, why didn't they take the boy to where they went? According to what we heard, they actually traveled to Ibadan that very day. So you expect them to carry a three-year-old boy to be taking him to everywhere they are going. Even if they are not celebrities, these people we are talking about, they are celebrities. But even if they are not celebrities, you don't expect a parent to be carrying their child everywhere. The home is the safest place for a child. So all these, uh, why are they carrying, why, are they, why did they leave him at home? Why did they take him out? Why did they take him to wherever they are going? Do you even know the nature of what they went to do? The function they went for? Even if it's, even if it's not something serious, you can't expect them to be going around with the boy. The home is supposed to be the safest place for that child. But due to negligence on the part of the nanny, and she's the one in charge anyway, so due to her negligence, this ugly incident happened. So my point is, if you don't know how to empathize with people when they are going through uh, an ugly situation, they rather keep it short. You don't need to spew the horrible things. You don't need to rub salt on their injury. Come on, that's a lot. It's not nice. It's not, it's not nice. It is not nice. I'm so sorry, guys. I lost the concluding part of this video. So what I'm saying now uh, might not be in sync with uh, my mouth, but please uh, bear with me because I just had to do a, um, a voiceover while I had the former videos to it and anyway so let's just move on um so people are blaming the dad they are blaming david Dole for teaching the boy how to swim don't forget that he's only trying to teach him one of uh survival skills that we need in life everybody needs to know how to swim so you don't come out to blame him that why is he teaching him how to swim because those are Part of the things I've seen online and it's very disturbing why would you blame somebody for teaching their child how to swim but it's just so unfortunate that you know children when you teach them something or when they see an adult do something they also want to practicalize it and I guess that was what made uh, in fine to go to the swimming pool without the adult supervision and I'm even guessing probably um, the nanny was inside but when she wanted to receive the phone call probably she left the door open and the little poor boy saw the opportunity to come out by himself or maybe they were even all outside and when she received the call that she claimed to receive she stepped aside and then the baby wandered away but anyway it has happened out of a negligence and out of incompetency because children especially children of that age toddler you can't just assume when you're taking care of a toddler because 
at that age they are so curious they want to know everything happening in their environment they are so you know so you you don't just assume in in our words she assumed it was with the chef and the chef also assumed that the boy was with her so assumption is not even accepted in where you're taking care of a child so whoever is taking care of a child nanny parents please put this at the back of your mind your eyes have to be very sharp when you have a toddler around you and also to parents please if you have a swimming pool in your house try and put a barricade or you know child proof measures around this ugly incident has happened before to the band so and this one happening again please may god not allow us to have a repeat of this when this uh, last season of big brother started and you know they just started using the regular pool and i saw that they covered it up i, I immediately remembered about the band and i was even like oh why are they covering pool for adults but then it came to my mind that these adults sometimes they party and they drink excessively and god forbid that one of them enters into the pool so when i saw that i was like oh this is impressive everybody that has pool in the house should guard it i'm not saying that davido doesn't have this because um he might even have it but what if what if just what if some adults went to the pool in the afternoon and leaving the pool they forgot to cover it up or they forgot to lock the gate or something anything could have happened we don't live in that house so we cannot say for a fact that this was what happened but i just want to plead to bloggers vloggers youtubers please stop spreading the boys picture around because these parents are coming back to social media whether you like it or not very soon and then it's it's going to be a sad thing you know seeing the boys picture around please don't be insensitive everything is not content everything is not content please and what happened to Davido is really so sad because Davido is a lover of kids, most especially his children. I mean, for somebody that has children from different baby mamas, but whenever you see him with his children, he's always, always playing. And you will even see the child in him coming out like, he plays like a child, like... He loves his children so dearly so this thing must have really hit him so bad and it's so sad enough that even last year during his birthday i think he's even supposed to mark his 30th birthday this year last year when he marked his birthday i remembered him calling on uh his friends to send him millions of naira and all that people were he was he started like a joke on social media last year started calling his friends send me two million send me three million and people responded because davido according to them is a very nice guy and before we knew it this guy gathered over 250 million and guess what he did he donated it to orphanages you know um according to what people have been saying he has a very large heart he's a giver he's friendly and all that so what happened to him is really really so sad so please youtubers bloggers don't don't milk this situation don't don't make it to um don't milk it to your own advantage it's a sad thing please i know i can't control what everybody is doing but at least please let's stop spreading the boy's picture i even find it difficult i can't post the picture please let's um remember them both the video chioma and the rest of the family in your time of prayer that God should give them the fortitude to bear the loss and the Holy Spirit should just comfort them by himself. So thank you guys for watching and do have a lovely day. Bye.